we might as well go on and start on Diddy. I don't think my channel is big enough or relevant enough for me to face huge cons consequences for, uh, and when I say huge consequences, I mean like for me to come up missing just for covering it. I hope not, but I gotta cover it. I gotta cover this. Diddy is getting me to, uh, what the fuck is that going on? Else? All right, who got it? Oh, okay. All right, I guess we're gonna go right here. I guess we're gonna watch it. Nah, nah, let's go, let's go. You say my name, don't show up. Fast, let's see. Let's see what we got going on. Good morning. On the Breakfast Club. All right, we all saw it posted yesterday all over our social media pages. Cassie filed a lawsuit in New York City against Diddy. Yikes. She's claiming she was stuck in a decade-long cycle of abuse, violence, and sex trafficking. Baby. You was in there for 10 years? Y'all know me now, okay? Whew. In a statement, she said, after years in silence and darkness, I'm finally ready to tell my story. She's speaking up on behalf of herself and for the benefit of other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships. With the expiration of New York's Adult Survivors Act fast approaching, she said it then became clear it was the opportunity to either speak up about the trauma she's experienced and she'll be recovering from for the rest of her life or just kind of remain silent. So she chose to speak up. What are the allegations? It just says uh, that he did a bunch of stuff that he allegedly, allegedly mm -hmm. gave her copious amounts of drugs leading to a painful struggle with drug and alcohol abuse. That he controlled every aspect of her life. He is accused of frequently beating her and would hide her in hotel rooms for days until the bruising and signs of abuse were gone and that he also allegedly forced her to have sex with male sex workers while he watched. God damn! Woo! Listen. You what? <laughs> Say it again. You what? What are we doing, Diddy? Listen, for me, there's red flag around all of it, okay? Why Why you wait all this time? Oh, now I'm ready to tell my story? I, I just don't... And then you ain't filing a criminal loss. I mean, you ain't file. You ain't filing criminal charges. You going after him in in in, in a uh, uh, in a civil case? That's a lot. Of, that's red flags, man. Red flag. I'm sorry. You can say whatever you want to say, but I feel like real victims want to see justice, not money. I mean, they would like to have both if they could. But wouldn't you want the person who who wouldn't you want the person who committed all these crimes against you to serve time? Thirty million dollars is nothing to Diddy, man. Thirty million dollars is Diddy can spend thirty million dollars at the at the at the uh at, at the dealership. I don't understand. What? That's what she wants? Jeez, male sex workers. What? Yeah, I did. sound like hired some prostitutes and then watched them. You know. Yikes. Do that thing. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, those are some serious allegations. You know, mm -hmm. Cassie is entitled to file her lawsuit and uh, Diddy is entitled to due process. That's why these situations, you know, should play out in uh, court and, and not the court of public opinion. And I know everybody wants to have the hot take on this situation, but the reality is we don't know. No. We right. don't know what's true and what's not true. So you got to let things play out. But what I will say, when you see situations like this, don't laugh or celebrate what you think is a person's downfall. I'll be quick to dismiss someone's claims. Mm. Just let things play out. It's hard to do that. It's hard to do that nowadays. Everybody got an opinion. Listen, I don't know. Diddy, if you're watching, I don't know. But based on what we think we know about Diddy, y'all know I normally take the man's side. I normally take the man's side because a lot of these stories, it'd be a lot of red flags going on in these stories, and it's like it's years later. But if you know anything about Diddy, man... <laughs> I, that's all I'm saying. Uh, uh, that's all I'm saying. I mean, Diddy is one of those strange char characters that you've always heard rumors about, but they was just that. They was rumored. Man, I tell you. I just don't understand now. So what is it, what is the process now? You just walk into the... You can just walk in, right? You can just walk into the police station nowadays and say, or, or the courthouse nowadays and say, listen, I used to be in a relationship with so-and-so. On these years, he beat me, graped me, and forced me to do all of these things. I want to I want to sue him. You ain't got to provide no evidence, no nothing, because that's what I want to know. What's the evidence? Yes, yeah, that it's just, it's so many years that they were together mm -hmm. that if this is true, to be going through something like that for that mm -hmm. long and remain silent, and can you imagine how many other people would have seen that? Like, I'm a domestic violence survivor. Mm -hmm. So I've been in a situation where I've been, you know, a victim of domestic Domestic. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying. Listen, listen, I know what you're thinking. Oh, that's some poor taste. You don't know her. Listen, if you knew what I knew, you know a lot of, like, almost every woman says she's a domestic violence survivor. Almost every single one. And when you do the research, when you start digging a little bit deeper on what actually happened, what you'll find out is either one, the most likely scenario is she was a willing participant and most likely the initiator of the situation. Or two, she was the abuser or, or no, no, not that she was the abuser. It's like something very minor, like, she started going off and the dude started holding her so she wouldn't like, bro, trust me, trust me. I'm telling you, a lot of this be cat. Shout out to my boy Chris who's in the chat. Uh, uh, um, SS, uh, Black around. Let me get you a Don DeMarco. So <laughs>
Dom DeMarco. We took, we, Chris, we took a two month hiatus while I was trying to move into the new studio and uh, we got to get back into the out. People ain't getting notifications. It's all type of stuff going on, but we talking about Diddy right. But yeah, it's just, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. She might be a domestic violence survivor. I just nowadays it's like it's not a single chick that I that I talk to who's not a domestic violence. And then when you start asking questions about like if you get to know them a little bit and you start asking questions about what really happened, what they especially when they trust you and they don't believe that you'll judge them. Cause I'm good at playing the fool that won't judge. You'll start figuring out. You start figuring out really fast that you're not a victim of domestic violence. You're not a victim of anything. You was in a relationship where y'all was both equally knocking each other around and you were more than likely the antagonist and that's how it that's how it went down but anyway so let's continue violence and so many people saw that and saw what i looked like and what i was going through and i just had to remain silent and continue to fight silently through those things mm. until i could get the courage up to come out of that space and mm -hmm. really stand on my own two feet and i'm not saying it happened or it didn't mm -hmm. but if it happened Cassie and a lot of other women, you know, like her, that's a long time and a lot of trauma to be going through. Now, assuming that, again, I'm leaning more towards I think he did it. I don't know. It's just, like I said, I've heard uh, Diddy party a little bit different. How long before? FBI, open up! Will he face any charges? I don't know. Or, or better yet, is there going to be more allegations from other girls? Is there going to be more allegations from other girls? Hold on. But yeah, though, hold on. See. A lot of these reactions is crazy. A lot of these reactions is crazy. But you know, it's going to come to the light. And yeah, I want to put that out there. So that's Cameron tells the story of the time he visited uh, he visited Diddy's house and found a dildo sitting on the bathroom sink. Puff his hands down the freakiest frog in the end. Whoa! Hold on. Puff had a brownstone, I believe, on 35th Street and like Park Avenue between um Park. It's some brownstones down there. I believe 30, 35th or 36th. For those of y'all who don't know who Cameron is, he is uh part. He was a rapper from Dipset. And Mace was staying there. And um, I went to go meet him down there one day so we could bust a move. This is when he just signed with Bad Boy. He didn't even have an album out yet. He was just getting signed. And I went to use a bathroom and it was a dildo um on the bathroom sink. And Sheesh. when I came out, I asked him what's about. He like, that's homeboy's drink. You know, I don't know what it's about. He always have girls over here. I don't know. I said, well, this one your sink. This is your bathroom. You're using this bathroom. <laughs> I don't know where his bathroom at. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's where the most sink is. Stop breathing. Yeah. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always? Hey, he looked at Diddy like, why the fuck you lying? Hey, that's funny. <laughs> but you know what, guys? Use dildos on girls sometimes. That's true. Facts. We seen some. What he you know, said? I'm not saying he did. That that's facts. But why would you lie about that? Like, if you if if you see a dildo on my counter, I'm gonna tell you straight up. I'm like, hey, listen, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 you know, I, me and my girl, you know what I'm saying? We get down. I be trying to, you know, get the extra orgasm in out of her, and you know what I'm saying? I used, you know what I mean? Like it is what it is. You know, don't judge me. But if you see a dildo on my counter, I ain't finna lie and be like, oh yeah, that yeah yeah that belonged to my dog. Man, you gonna be lying. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Uh, 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 um, Chris say, uh, what, damn, what my chat? Chris said, uh, I mean, is anyone, is anyone surprised by the Diddy stuff? I don't think anyone is. I don't think anyone is surprised by Diddy at this point. Man, 50's reaction to this had me dead. No, no, not his reaction. Oh, yeah, his, his reaction, but, like, some stuff that, uh, 50 said, look, 50, 50 posts, uh, uh, damn, brother love, brother love. <laughs> You out here looking crazy as a buck. Man, 50 is the biggest troll, man. Listen, listen to this. Listen to listen to this. Like, yo, it's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we can just hang out. Nigga, we gotta we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is Paul. Okay. You're telling me we gotta kick it and shit. And he's like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? What the fuck was that? I don't understand. What's going on with Twitter, man? Like Twitter be bugging. So yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we can just hang out, nigga. We gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is Paul. Okay. You telling me we gotta kick it and shit? And he's like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like I pay for it. And I was like, what the fuck, this nigga just said. <laughs> <laughs> I got the fuck away from him. Cause I was like, this, this nigga, like, fuck it. Wait, this nigga just tell me he take me shopping. <laughs> Shit that goes on. Well, there's your little fruit, fruit pile. It's a fruit pile. 
Don't trust me. You see these little weird ass bitches and shit like that out there. You should sit out there for no reason. Yo, if you don't see accident bitches, you'll be like kissing them. Like that doesn't happen by accident. Chill, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you. Yes, I'm telling you. Look, look. Later, you're going to find out a little shit that I'll be saying. Oh, <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Chill. Man, listen, I'm trying to tell you the truth, but Yo. the truth, sometimes it hurts. Right. It hurts people and they don't want to hear that shit, but right. I'm trying to tell you, nah. nigga asked me, could he take me shopping? And it fucked me up because nah. I'm looking like, what the fuck did this nigga just say? Like, I want to take you shopping. I got a bankroll out this motherfucker. I want to take you shopping. Why? Because when you walk around looking so motherfucking good, I'm going to feel like, God damn it, that motherfucker with me. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. But when a nigga tell me, yo, I don't know, I don't know how Fifty, I don't know how Fifty has survived the hip hop industry this long. Fifty is the biggest trope, man. This dude, That's Jessica, was Hannibal? What's going on? Don't the Marco, Marco. What's what's Hannah? I'm I'm so glad to see you here. Um, I don't know how Fifty has survived this long. I thought as much shit as he be talking, I thought somebody like Diddy would have been had him knocked off. I, but that why I, that why I love it. That why I love him. You know what I'm saying? 50, 50, 50 is funny as hell. Um, he said, "What the fuck did this nigga just say?" <laughs> but but all in all though, uh, all in all though. I just what I don't what y'all think. I mean, I think at this point, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Everybody I know, everybody I know, they think Diddy. Let's keep it. They think Diddy. Uh, they think Diddy did it. Uh, not. But not only that. Remember, Diddy is also facing allegations of being the person responsible for getting Pop knocked off. Diddy is unraveling this. Hey, and by the way, I don't know nothing. I'm just listen. I'm just some goofy YouTuber on the internet. Please don't have no, don't send, don't send the blitz at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm clout chasing it at most. So please. Speaking of, speaking of, academics was going off. Uh, uh, act was going off. Oh, did he delete his tweet? Oh, here we go. Here we go. He says that Diddy News and all them blue check motherfuckers who usually under my blog in the shade room ain't said a peep. I might have to fall back off this story too. I ain't trying to get my car exploded or some kid on some kid cutty shit. Or uh or done like Tupac. Jessica said she wa she watching while she get her nails done. Woo woo! I know that's right. Uh uh, appreciate you. the part of the loss. Uh, act say the part of the lawsuit where Cassie claims Diddy got the drop on Suge Knight location at a diner and grabbed every gun in his crib and ran out the door with his niggas to pull up on Suge tells us all you need to know. This whole time I thought Suge had Diddy shook. This lawsuit says different. Diddy was fainting to catch a body. Jessica say act. Act is a damn joke. Why you say that? Why you say uh, DJ Academics is a is a uh, joke? I ain't judging. I'm just I I just want to know. I just want to know why. Uh, he also said DJ Vlad gonna be the nigga who finds out the truth behind all this uh Diddy shit. Low key, my boy, the only person doing real investigative journalism. Vlad finna interview every maid, helper, assistant, male sex worker, and um and that was oh that was in them freak off fact. In hindsight, did Kanye make a smart choice by responding to Diddy like this when Diddy asked him to meet up? Hey man, act is funny. As soon as I land, we'll meet face to face. Send me the address. Ye responded, "Nigga, fuck you. You fed." Hey man, I know, I know, I know. Uh, 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 people not used to me covering stories like this, but this is how you keep up with the nigga. <laughs> um, he also, and the last thing he said, where that whole ass nigga my song. And all them people who was talking about protect black women. Uh, when some gay nigga was talking about me and his sick rape fetish. Uh, where them people now sticking up for uh cast? Oh, I don't know. Uh, so, but yeah, yeah. Uh, Jess, tell me, tell me, uh, tell me, uh, 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 uh why you don't like act? I would love. I always ask people this. I respect people who can give me a valid reason for anything. Uh, um, I just so I just be wanting to know. And I like to remind people I'm not a fan of anyone. I'm a supporter. I watch I watch Act Channel to keep up with certain stuff. I watch him like I watch um, uh, you know, uh Hypnotic, but I'm always interested. That's why that's why I'm asking. You said Act is a joke. I just want to know why. I mean, why you think? All right, let's get it. Where we at? Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Be that thing down like you started attention, my baby. You had some plans with your man. Tell him to keep